The railway line Transentino leads across the Andes from Chile to Argentina. A bold and adventurous route at an extreme altitude, it has always required special locomotives. The Kitzenmeier T5 locomotive is one of the most interesting mountain locomotives of the early 20th century. The concept of the Type 5 Kitzenmeier locomotive was already extremely complicated in its construction in 1908, but all in all it proved to be an excellent locomotive. In World War II, Kitzen of Leeds was destroyed and twos were all the blends. Some years ago, Andrew Battery, a Canadian Transantino fan, and Sergio Carmona, Dean of Engineering at Valparaiso University, managed to discover some of the original plans in Chile. Jens Schindler, a German Transantino fan, made a drawing with actual measurements of the locomotive located outside the museum in Santiago de Chile. Andrew and Jens shared these treasures with me. Building a 1 to 22.5 Type 5 Kitzmeier life steam model was a real challenge. To use this locomotive in a garden railway system, it is easier to use an electric powered model. With this video series, I would like to show the construction of this model and my approach to building models. At the beginning, there are always the original drawings and photos of the locomotive. Each component is drawn in a 3D program on a scale of 1 to 22.5 as a 3D element. A small Excel file helps me to convert the English inch meshes to millimeters. Castings, or rather parts that have volume, are drawn as a 3D object with volume. Parts that are made of sheet metal are drawn as a contour and then extruded. Tolerances are adjusted according to the functionality of the model. Every screw, every rivet is marked so that complete material lists can be generated. All sheet metal parts are sorted by sheet thickness and arranged to a board. Differences in the front and back make it possible to add reliefs or fold lines. The brass sheet is provided with a photosensitive polymer. A drawing of each side is exposed and the exposed part washed out. The acid etches away the unprotected brass surfaces. Finally, the protective varnish is washed off. Volume parts are printed with a wax filament 3D. They are either joined together in the 3D program or later by hand to form a so-called cast tree. The cast tree is embedded in plaster. The wax is melted out at about 600 degrees Celsius. To avoid air buckets, the liquid brass is pured in at about 1100 degrees Celsius in a vacuum. At about 200 degrees Celsius, the model is immersed in cold water. The difference in temperature causes the plaster to burst. The cooled cast tree is sandblasted and the individual parts further processed as needed. 
The CAD 3D model is also the basis of the documentation of the assembly. Each step is illustrated visually using the modular principle. The assembly then takes place step by step. The first video will begin with the assembly of the cow catcher. I'll catch you in the next one.